Good morning. Magnus, I want the Matrix. Never we exterminate him. This one bothered me when I initially saw it as a little kid. I was I was bothered by the scene. Optimus Prime was cold. cold. The coldest there was. Look at look at that. No one, come on, ain't nobody doing nothing else like that. But Ultra Magnus gets the Matrix of Leadership by accident, by the way. And in the first 10 minutes of him having it, when shit started to get a little hot, he want he want to take the shit out that quick? Like seriously? And then, in the two seasons before that, you have never seen Optimus Prime take out the Matrix leadership, ever. Or try to use it as, was he trying to use that as a projectile? What, what did he think was supposed to happen? What is he doing? He lit his ass up too. <laughs> Good riddance, and from that day on, I hate him. Like he just, he irks me. I mean, I could, I could see Cup like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, did he try to use it as a projectile? <laughs> Prime, you said the Matrix would light our darkest hour. I don't think he meant literally. <laughs> Bring it like, does he think he means literally? <laughs> he lit his ass up. <laughs> How could I not do that, guys? Come on. <laughs> It'd be a whole show of just me <laughs> tra transitioning Transformer style. See? <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> okay, one more time. Man. Let's start the show. Okay, guess what we're going to be talking about today? Yes. Those new red Transformers. Robot Enhanced. Design Transformers, yes. We have Optimus, we have Megatron, and we have Soundwave. And I guess this is, I know you guys already seen the reviews, but if you guys wanted a little more information, like a little more information, that's my that's my Chris Rock impression. Do you want some more information? Information? Is that, is that a bad, it's a bad Chris Rock impression? Yes? Well, if you want to... <laughs> You want a little more information on there and you want to see a different perspective because we may bring up things that you oh i didn't even think of that but he's absolutely right we're going to talk about possible figures hey i got a lot of ideas i'm, I'm hyped these these things i'm hyped let's just say that so let's check them out this is optimus prime with all his accessories the optimus prime box I like that that art on there that's pretty dope cool for little feature right here is when you open up the figure well when you first see the figure all the accessories are lined up here i was so excited i didn't even think to record it but this is where you'll see your accessories this is the back of the box right here it's the back of the box optimus prime red box it's pretty dope this is megatron right here in all his glory this is megatron again i love this art this cover art is pretty good let me open it and get the full picture of him. The little accessory window. It's cool. And that's a picture of Megatron on the back of the box. A little box. Again, I got that dope cover art. Oh, and it has blue on the inside there's blueprints. The box. You know. Optimus Prime includes the iconic cannon that he is known to have. Various hands. And this coal energy axe. His accessories include this energon cube. 
this open hand, this energy mace. Soundwave's accessories include his gun, his pointy finger, and his untransformable tape. Optimus Prime stands just a little under six inches. Megatron stands just a little under six inches. Soundwave stands just a little under six inches. Here's a size comparison of all three. Here's Optimus with Duke. Here's Megatron with his G.I. Joe counterpart, Cobra Commander. Articulating points for Soundwave. Starting from the top, that horizontal, I mean, got vertical, horizontal, it's kind of stiff. Shoulder, and you gotta be very careful with these because their articulation is, in, they don't all have the same articulation, so you'll be trying to move it like one, like Megatron and you'll end up snapping it. Cause that's what's gonna happen. You're not gonna, the, the joints aren't gonna pop out. They're gonna snap because of the type of plastic that they're using. He has, I guess you could call it, it's, it's equivalent to the butterfly shoulder. Like he can slightly, his arms can slightly go back. He does have up, but you ain't putting it no further. And it rotates. You have a bicep swivel. And then you have the double elbow with him. See that right there. Double elbow, double elbow. Which just looks cool for him. Then he has no, he has waist, ro he has waist rotation, but he doesn't have that, that ab articulation that um, Megatron had. He has the ball, but based off how it is, it looks like you can move it slightly, but you're gonna rub up against there, so it's there. If you wanna risk it and break your figure, you can, I am not. You have the thigh, he rotates down to the knee articulates there and there's an, another point of articulation but again there's a there's a fragileness to these figures like if you're used to the you know Marvel Legends are kind of they're a little tougher you can pull the parts out but with this one you, you want to be careful with these and now let's get down to the foot they tend to have that ball it's a ball down there where you can hinge it yeah go over his articulation real quick um, he has the same ball head and he's not his plastic doesn't feel as fragile as the other plastic it's almost as if they like he was the last one and they improved on him all right he has the shoulder rotate a hinge and it, you know they articulate based off their character that's unique to them because he has a ab crunch these things little panels go up and down die i guess this is his knee so it seems a little high i wish they could have i don't know i always get like because i want them to do that but I guess that's his knee. Has the thigh high boots on. <laughs> Double knee. And he has the ball hinge inside of the ankle. It's the articulation of Megatron. Okay, let's go over the articulation starting from the head. He has a ball, a two joint, a two joint articulation. There's a ball within here. There's a ball there and a ball here. Which you get some fairly good articulation considering it's a robot. There's him looking up. You can't look down because, you know, he's a he's a block chest. But he could turn. Okay. <clears throat> the shoulders. They're it's uh, like a pin, pin hinge type thing right here, if you look at it. And again, you can go but so far, because you don't want to break your, you don't want to break these. It's the type of plastic where you're not even going to be able to really glue it back on. It'll break right at the joints. 
but okay. So back to the arm, we have elbow articulation. Bicep, <laughs> we can call this a bicep swivel, but you gotta be careful when you turn it because you'll end up, I'm telling you this plastic, you'll end up breaking this if you turn it. That's how I feel on some of them, maybe not all of them, but I would guarantee because look, this one was a little bent when I first took it out the package. And then from the hands, it has waist articulation. Thigh, ball, thigh. Is that a ball? Yeah, it's probably a ball hinge. I don't know, I'm not even, yeah, it's a ball, it's a ball hinge. Then he has, I guess, a thigh articulation. Then it's a double knee. But again, I'm, I'm so nervous right here, but it's a double knee. And it also has this cool ankle ball pivot thing going on. First of all, hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. They're just great, man. Like, uh, they're, they're cartoon. They're so cartoon accurate close in the packaging. I'm not an MOC guy, but I can see an MOC guy going crazy for these because the packaging is dope. I love the art on the box. It's compact. Like, I love where they put the character. And I love this window, the accessory window. That's dope. It looks good. I, I love the presentation of it all. Inside and outside. Packaging in the figure. It looks great. The accessories. Good accessories, man. Um, I feel like they went above and beyond with Megatron's and Optimus Prime's accessories. Like the, the energy mace and the energy axe, I wouldn't doubt, that's fire though. Like, wow, that's dope. But I have notes because I felt like maybe we could have got a blast effect. Cause I mean, the, the opportunity, that Optimus Prime gun alone with a nice blast effect on that would, you know what I'm saying? That would have, that would have been cold. So that's something to keep in mind, as well as Megatron's. First of all, the, the plastic is inconsistent a bit with the characters because um, it felt like, you said, you guys seen in the review, I was scared to move it just during articulation because the, the, it looks fragile. It looks like that fragile plastic that you ever bend something plastic and it just changes color. That's, that's how you know it's that trash plastic. And that's just what it feels like it, they use. You have to be careful with these. Out of the packaging, man, um, my sound wave, he broke his cannon and I don't fix sniff my figures. Oh, you don't know who fix sniff is. Let me show you. Fig sniffs. Fig sniffs. <laughs> What's crazy is like he is all this like explosiveness and <laughs> he just throws it so smooth. He's like <laughs> I love it. Shout out to Fig Sniff, follow him, he's crazy. <laughs> That's the, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen to me. Like, it's just nuts. But yeah, <laughs> the plastic. Like, the plastic feels like... Maybe they... I wish they would probably use the plastic. Or, and I don't know. Like, I'm just speculating right now. Because I guess, based off the, the geometrics of the character, you use a specific type of plastic. Let's do this, guys. <laughs> Let's do this right now. So maybe they had to use that plastic because they're more square, but the plastic they use on the um, lightning collection figures, like you could twist and turn, like I don't ever feel like I'm gonna break one of those figures. It's just tough. And even on some Marvel Legends figures. So maybe they should adapt that. But overall, it's a, these figures are sweet, man. Like it's, it's, it's nostalgia. It's, it just feeds that nostalgia beast. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> I don't even see how we let that fly. Can you imagine if they released that with the internet back then? They'd be killing that Optimus Prime. What is that, a wheelbarrow? This line, it's, 
the more you mess with these figures, the more you're gonna enjoy them. Like I had a, I took a week off. And when I first, when I initially picked them up, I was like, oh, they're all right. You know what I'm saying? Revolt already did this. You know, that's how I was thinking. But as, the, as I was working with them, filming them, these are fun. These are really fun. And I have suggestions because I really like this. I really like this line. I like these figures so much that it, I just was hyped with ideas like this is, this would be dope. And I'm, you know what guys, I'm taking, I'm just taking the Transformers former guys with me. I'm just taking the Transformer guys with me. So first one, I'm okay with reissuing with this line. Optimus Prime, let's improve that plastic, change the shade up on him a little bit, and let's give him his bat trailer hitch open. Like the things we could, the play set, that's a play set right there, yeah? The trailer hitch, and then another Optimus Prime. I mean, I can't think of any details that would add, but it's a, the Optimus Prime is sweet. Second reissue, Soundwave. First of all, let's package him where his where his bazooka, his side bazooka isn't wrapped in the plastic, where it's gonna snap off when you open it, sir. But yeah, let's do that. But then let his accessories be his tapes in robot mode. Can you imagine how he would have looked with a with with Ravage standing near him? That would have been cold, bro. Or with laser beak or rumble and frenzy. They don't have to transform. Maybe keep one of them in there like shooting that gun in a gun pose and the other one with his little rumblies things you could deluxe that i'd buy that i definitely i'm okay with putting two sound waves up megatron i felt like you did you guys were perfect with him like i really love that megatron a good megatron needs a star scream so let's get a star scream in the way hit me out and with that star scream boom you got all these figures. Look, you got Thundercracker right there. Off the rip. That's another figure. All it is is just a paint adjustment, right? So we could do that and start. Star Scream is accessory. He has to come with Megatron in, the, in gun mode. You can dedicate a whole hand to that. And then either and or he has to come with his crown. He has to come with the crown. That's that's a that's a that's a monumental moment. He comes with the crown. You can sell him all gray, but with the crown. And it'll be like his, when he got shot, when he was like that ash. You can get, no, look at that. There you go. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> I save you money on paint apps. Let's do a gray, let's do a gray star screen. <laughs> yeah, with a, with a gold crown. You got me, both of them. Who's still with me? Are you Transformer guys still with me? Yes. So with that, and from there, and I, I'm gonna stay in G1 because I'm a G1 guy, I'm sorry. I'm talking about G1. The only way you're gonna justify selling those little Transformers is the two pack. Because we want a, we want a fully articulated Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. Who should be a two pack? They're damn near the same car, right? Just look at that. Come on, guys. And the accessories, you could have a little, a little spike. A little spike. Come on. It's, it's funny on the table, guys. Come do not, do not, <laughs> do not sacrifice scale for anything. <laughs> now you'll have a little, you'll have a little bit of wiggle room with the, with the bigger transformer. Who could be Baths? Who could be Baths? They could do the, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll, I'd be okay if I was building a Predator King. Am I right? If, if I was building a Predator King, I'd want that whole collection. And all you gotta do is sell, sell them in robot mode. Robot mode, and maybe like certain parts link, I don't know. And then you put that on, come on, baby, that's the bath. So I, I'm, I'm using my powers like right now. Guys. And the good thing about my powers, you have them too. We just have to, we just have to have, it's like, we, we have to focus. If we focus, guys, we can get this done. Because we have the power. We change Sonic. <laughs> we all change Sonic. So let's let's do this with this wave, guys. Who's with me? Who's with me? I know you're with me. You're hype. Relax. Relax, bro. You're hype, but we are doing this. You're thinking about that Predator King, right? Oh. Can you imagine that would be so cold, bro? I bet the Hasbro guys that are watching this are hype right now. I got them hype. They're like, Predator King immediately. What are we doing here? Scrap that shit. <laughs> Make a Predator King. But the thing is, what's frustrating is when 
we all like kind of are forming the wave and like a bit of consistency and someone says something cool for you. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> what about that Winnie the Pooh joint? What? <laughs> what? Did you get that, uh, <laughs> that, that Ghostbuster joint? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, man. <laughs> Shut up. And I, it was crazy. I know I'm missing some. I know you guys got suggestions. Put them, put them right there, right there in the comment section. <laughs> we can do this. This is like our. This will be our running position for the new Transformers Red Wave. <laughs> Robot enhanced design. I'm going crazy right now. All jokes aside, like I, I really like these figures. Like I'm, I'm willing to do another shout. <laughs> this is. It's, it's a lot of waves out there, bro. It's a lot of figures and you have to pick and choose. Nobody's rich, right? So this is like, I am I will invest in this wave. I'm in, <laughs> you got me, I'm in. And with that being said, everyone, this is it. I bid you guys a farewell till next time. Thanks for your viewership. And I will leave you with these words of wisdom, something to keep in your heart. You are collecting action figures. It's supposed to be fun. Think about it. Okay, uh, do we get that, that gold puzzle joint?